Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and the reason why you click on this video is because you are trying to re recover some files from your Android phone. Well, you're in luck today because today I'm going to show you one of the software that I use right, that has great success rate and is super reliable and the best part is you do not have to jailbreak or root your phone in order to recover the files. Alright, and it is with the help of this software right here. So this is a tenor share out data for Android. Alright, so uh, this is a very, very useful software to recover any of your deleted or unrecoverable files, all right, either due to a bad software update, corrupted files, all right, a water damage or accidental deletion. There is no way you can recover it. All right, so this is the software that I've used for quite some time to recover the files. Um, actually, most of the time, because I'm a mainly an Android user, so uh, most of the time, you know, sometimes when I accidentally like do some uh, file cleanup, all this, I might actually delete a few important files, and it happens a few times. All right, and with this software I've used, all right, um, it's super safe, and uh, it, it I don't have any issues with it not recovering any files that I have deleted. So it, for me, it has a 100% success rate. So it's really, really good all right, and super reliable and it just works like wonder. So right now, I'm gonna just gonna demonstrate to you all right, this software itself and uh, after I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of me deleting the files and recovering it. So you guys can see for yourself how good this software is. And uh, without further ado, let me just show you the software itself. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the software itself, all right? They also have uh, other thing that you guys can um, do. All right, so this one is the Android data recovery, uh, but they also have other recovery as well. So um, built into this software, so it's very, very useful. And you know, it saves you a lot of money for all the other features as well. So it's very, very generous of them. And this can be very useful. I've used a lot of WhatsApp data recovery a lot of time. All right, but today we are mainly focusing on the Android data recovery. So what does this do is you click on this, okay? All I have to do is just to connect my phone all right to my uh to the to my pc all right um initial setup you requires you to um enable like usb so um yeah so when i connect it automatically detects my phone is sell me phone so you ask me to you know uh, enable file, file transfer okay yeah okay, switch to file transfer Okay, and then after that, you ask me to enable USB debugging. Okay, so um, so now I enable USB debugging, and you will install an app on my phone. Don't worry, the app is hundred percent safe. Okay, and uh, the app is to communicate between you know your phone and the software itself. So yeah, they will automatically install for you, so you don't have to do anything. All right, so uh, yeah, in the recovery process, you guys can recover all kinds of files like contacts, messages, call history. So if you are specifically recovering like probably a document itself, you just have to select document. You don't have to select everything. So because if you select everything, it will scan everything. It will, may take some time. So if you know you are recovering document, just select document will do and just click on start. But for now, before I start, all right, I am going to delete some of my files on my phone. All right, so let me just bring up my phone over here. All right, and you guys can see over here, this is one of the image over here and i would like to delete this image all right so you guys remember this image huh it's just a watch all right i want to delete this image and voila it's gone all right so you guys can think that you know it's in the recycle bin yeah of course it's in the recycle bin so this is the one so i'm gonna just click on delete all right so i'll delete it and <coughs> It had been removed from my recycle bin, so it cannot be found anymore. So um, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and delete one more item. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna delete one more item, which is this one, the very important. All right, do not. So I named this file as very important. Do not delete. All right, and this thing is named as um important document. So what I'm gonna do, as per usual, I'm gonna delete this. Okay, if I go to my okay, no, sorry, there is no recycle bin in this one, so um, so yeah, so I've deleted it already. Cannot be viewed anymore. All right, and, well, and also maybe I go to my contacts, and delete one of the important contacts that I have saved. All right, very important contacts. So this is the contact that I saved. All right, and let me just delete it away. All right, so let me just delete the contact, and boom, oh. Okay, so I've deleted everything. So uh, 
So let me now just go ahead and recover them, shall we? Okay, so how do we recover? So I'm going to select a few documents. Just like I deleted the document, I'm going to select the document. I definitely going to select the context because I deleted one of the context and one of the photos of the watch itself. So we're going to just select this tree and just click on start. Okay, so we just wait a while and let it obtain the information. So all you just have to do is just to maybe make, make a coffee, just really sit back and relax. All right. And uh, yeah, so you're going to take some time. You, also, you can also see the um, the remaining time. All right. So if you see about four minutes, maybe you can just do something and come back and it should be done. All right. But as you guys can see, it scan really, really fast and it comes up with all the contacts that I previously have. All right. So the scan has finished. Okay. So uh, yeah, you can see that just now the very important contact I deleted is right over here. You guys can see, and the mobile number is over there, so it is correct. The mobile number is eight eight eight, and it's over here, so you know it is able to find it. All right, the rec the deleted ones. All right, how about the document that I deleted just now? Okay, so uh, let me just find. All right, the document was named uh, "Very Important. Do Not Delete." Maybe okay. Use a search function, so it's very very useful. You guys can search for a specific document if you know the name so i remember i named it very important there we go it's found it all right so it's very important do not delete it's over here so what you want to do is for example if you found the document that you want to find just click on recover to pc where you want it to recover to okay so for me i will just recover it to my desktop all right and it's over here it shows it up so yeah it's very very useful you guys can choose where you want to uh, recover it to all right and uh now let's just go to photos okay so um in order to find that photo i think it might be a bit challenging because look at the amount of photos i have over here i have ten thousand plus deleted photos and and but the good thing is all right you can see this one is in red color can you see the red border all right the red one means that is deleted files it's not the current one so the deleted one will show in red so they will show at the top it's like for the context all right all the deleted one they will show at the top all right you guys can see all right documents wise all the deleted one they will show at the top all right and non-deleted one okay i think these are all the deleted one all right but then you can see all but then if i scroll down all right, it will start to become white color. So white one is the current one that is current inside my album. So uh, just to have to look through the the red one, but I have so many red to look to through. So to find that photo is probably gonna be extremely challenging. And um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, but anyways, okay. So if you guys have an important photos, you guys can slowly take your time to look look through it. It is definitely there because. Uh, I already showed you, all right, the documents, it can be found, the context, it can be found. Photos definitely is there, but, you know, I can still remember some of the photos I have over here are actually deleted ones. So, uh, so yeah, I, I'm actually quite happy that, you know, some of the old deleted photos are actually appearing here. So, these are actually my deleted photos. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm looking at this sometimes bring back memories because, um, some of these photos have been deleted like over, over a year ago or so because I've used, been using this phone for two years already. So um, yeah, it's bring back memories as well. So uh, yeah, you can slowly take your time to find, but if you want, you guys can, if you know um, your, if your photo is dated, you guys can choose the date and time, you can select size, and you can choose the image source what kind of source is it from so it's very very easier to filter through instead of like scrolling through like 10, 10 000 different images yeah so this is the tool and you can see it's very very efficient and um the way it it reads all the files is extremely fast okay so uh pouring uh the so um the whole process for to like restore the context photos and the document all right it took about i think about two to three minutes only and this test is really really extremely fast no software can achieve this kind of speed so i'm very happy with this software that's why i've been staying i've been using this software for quite some time because this software is is really really good all right it's really fast and really efficient that's what i love about i've used other software before and it takes super long time to just read through all my data it's gonna be like half an hour to an hour just to read everything 
So, you know, it is very, very slow, but this one is super fast. And um, the reason why I use this software is because I also trust this software because, you know, it reads your data. So it handles all the private stuff that you have in your phone. So, um, yeah, you want to have a software that you can trust, right, that will, you know, ensure that you will not sell your data or, you know, um, read through your data or your data will be safe in, like, their cloud server or whatever. All right, so this software, all right, I've used, I have no issues with them. And um, yeah, all my data are hundred percent safe with them. All right, they don't extract your data, they don't sell your data, they don't keep your data anywhere. All right, it's all on your local machine on this software itself. So then, when you exit it, all your data will be erased from this software. So you don't have to worry about your privacy getting, you know, um, thought somewhere else. So uh, yeah, this is one of the software that I actually trust. All right, and if you guys want to check out this software, I will link them the first link in the video description down below. For you guys to try out and this thing does work on mac os as well so if you have a mac machine it can work on it as well so how can my guys to try it out i right, give you a try and um and yeah it's really really good so uh yeah so uh, once again i'll link this software the first link in the video down below for you guys to check it out all right and um and yeah and this works on most android devices no matter what your brand is it will definitely work on it all right it support a lot of android devices from the old one to the newest and the latest one all can be recovered so no matter what phone you have it can be recovered so you don't have to worry about you know being your phone being in incompatible unless it's an iphone all right so this only works on android all right so yeah so once again i'll link this software the first thing in the video description down below for you guys to check it out so that's all for today guys if you find today's video really interesting and really helpful let me know in the comment section as well and without further ado this is jforce gaming and i shall see you guys in my next video peace out i don't want to cry